Hey, welcome to Digital Access Pass. My name is Veena Prashant. DAP is the world's most powerful and comprehensive membership and LMS plugin for WordPress. Today, I'm so excited to let you know that we have made it even better. We have added an amazing new feature that will allow you to track your member's journey in your membership site. DAP becomes the world's uh, first membership plugin that can do this. You'll be able to track everything, you know, what your members are doing in your membership site. What are they spending their time on? What they are engaging with? Stuff that they are not engaging with? Stuff that's working well? Stuff that's not working well? It's going to give you so much insight, so much data uh, in terms of how your members are spending their time in your membership site, and it will help you improve uh, your membership site, right? You'll be able to see exactly, you know, what they're engaging with and stuff that they are not engaging with, stuff that you need to make better. So let me take you to the back end. I'll give you a quick demo of what we have done. I'll show you step by step as members go through your membership site and do different things, how this new uh, member activity feature will track everything they are doing and how it will report it to you. So you can see how they are spending their time in your membership site. This is the back end of DAP and you will now find a new option, user activity under dashboard. So click on user activity and it's going to bring you to a page like this where you will find a list of all the users and you can uh, click on view activities if you want to find you know, how they are engaging with your site and what they're doing, all that stuff. The entire member journey is all here. So let's say this is the user, all right? And I'm going to click on view activities to show you how this works. You can see this is the user. And if you want to change it to a different user and find what they are doing, you can change it right here. Click on this to change the email and it will show you all the activities for that user. You can see here, here we have broken it down into five different uh, categories, user activity, course details, where you will find course details step-by-step, step, where you will find course level breakdown. If they have enrolled in any one of your courses, you will find all the details here. You know, what lessons they have completed, what quizzes they have completed, what's their score, every single thing about your course you're going to find right here. And this is at user level, right? For that user, everything is related to this user that you see here. Points and rewards, and it also integrates with Game of Points, our Game of Points plugin which you can use to give them points for different activities. So say that you give them points for login, you give them points for visiting a specific page on your site, you give them points for registration, you give them points for purchase. All of that is tracked by DAP now, and it will all be here, all right? So you can see here points earned in your membership site by doing different activities for which you're giving them points. You'll find all the details here. You will see what they got the points for and what's the product for which they got the points. If it's uh, for a page visit, it will show you exactly what page they visited on your site. That resulted in them getting a point. It will show you how many points they got for that activity. It will show you the date on which they uh, completed that activity and earned points. All right, so it will see, so you'll find all the details here, pretty amazing. If you use a rewards-based membership site, again, DAP is very unique, one of the few membership sites where you can do all of this. And for this one, you do need our Game of Points plugin. If you have our Game of Points plugin, you can do this here. Purchase history, you will find a list of all the purchases right here. And if you want to edit their order details, click on edit, and it will take you to the orders page where you can edit their order details. You can refund, you can cancel all of that from there. So I'm going to show you a specific use case to show you exactly how this thing works. And obviously you can use that for all of your products, courses, services, all kinds of products and services. But I'm going to show you a specific use case and show you how this works and then you know, you can track user journey in your membership site the same way. Let's say that you have a free product that you offer from DAP and uh, you have a paid product, a digital product download that you offer from DAP. You also have a paid online course that you offer from DAP and you have a membership that you offer from DAP. Now, I'm only going to use these four products in this example. Obviously, you can use DAP to create and uh, to launch as many products, courses as you want. But for this example, we'll just... Uh, stick to these four different types of products, all right? So let's say that a user comes to your site and decides to sign up for your freebie, right? That's where their journey starts in your membership site. So they go to the, they go to the page where they can sign up for your freebie. So this is my membership site. And say that a user arrives to this page and decides to sign up for this freebie. And that's where their membership site journey starts. And so I'm gonna show you what this does here. So I'm actually using Smart Quiz Builder, which is my quiz plugin, to get people to sign up for my freebie. So say that they sign up here, and this way I can get some information from users before they sign up. So I always use a quiz-based opt-in form for my freebies. Is there anything do you need help with? Let's say they say traffic, they can sign up here. So what happens is uh, when they sign up here, 
they are going to be sent to the thank you page, but they will also get access to the product in app, to the free product in app. All right, so this is a user activity page, right? This is the user I just signed up as, right? This one. I'm going to click on this view activities. All right, so you can see what happened here. Everything that has been tracked here, product access, right? This user signed up for uh, this lead magnet, lead magnet planner. That's the product, right? That's the first thing the user did. So they got access to this product and app, lead magnet planner product and app. And what I'm also doing is I'm giving them uh, a tag in SQB because this user said, my biggest problem is I need help with traffic, right? So I'm giving them a tag called traffic. So what SQB does is it integrates with DAP. So they got this tag also in DAP and DAP is tracking it. So you can see here, they received a tag in DAP called traffic. And the reason they got this tag is they opted in and through the opt-in, they got this tag. And uh, I'm also giving points for registration and I'm doing that using my Game of Points plugin. So you can see here it says points awarded for registration. They got a point. I'll show you that in a bit, how I have set this up and page visit. So you can see here, they are getting a point for page visit as well. Again, I'm doing this through Game of Points plugin where when they visit a specific page, I'm giving them points for that. Now you don't have to do it this way, but I just wanna show you different possibilities. So if you are using Game of Points to gamify your membership site and you have created a points-based membership site, you can track all kinds of things using, using Game of Points and app. So you can track all of these things, but even if you don't use Game of Points, you can still track this, right? Product access, they got access to this product. This is all in depth. And uh, if you give them tags and app, you can do that. Or if you give them tags through SQB, you can track that as well. So you can see at this point, we have already tracked all of this, right? All the user has done is signed up for your freebie. And because different things happen, you can track all of this right away uh, in DAP. So now let's go ahead and uh, sign up for a paid product. So let's say you have a paid product and a paid digital product that you sell for a one-time fee and say that this same user, because we are tracking this user's journey through your membership site, this user has just signed up for your freebie. And later on, you start sending them emails through your follow-up sequence. You make an offer for your paid product and they decide to sign up for your paid product. So this is what's gonna happen next. So let's say this user decides to sign up for your paid product and say, this is the checkout page. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase here. All right, thank you for signing up. So let's go and check out the backend to see what happened next. You can see here, first thing is payment. This user made a payment for this product and just purchased this product. So you received a payment, so it's tracking that. And then activity purchase, they're getting points for purchase. Again, through Game of Points, I'm giving them points, two points for purchase. You don't have to do this, but if you use Game of Points and you give them points for purchase, you can track that as well. If not, you will at least be able to track payment, right? They made a payment and you, you will be able to track that right here. So now let's go ahead and purchase an online course and then let's see what happens next. Now again, the same user now decides to purchase this course, right? So let's go ahead and purchase it. So this user has completed the purchase of this online course. You can see received payment. I'm giving points for course purchase as well. So they got five points for that, all right? And so say that at this point, let's say the user decides to take the course. So let's go ahead and log in and check out the course and take the course. And let me show you what are the things uh, DAP will track for the course. All right, you can see here, I'm logged in as this user and I have access to this course, I just purchased it. And I also have access to these products. I've signed up for this product, right? This is a paid product. And I also signed up for this freebie. So this is my situation currently. I have access to this freebie. I have access to this paid product. And I also have access to this online course. I'm gonna start this course now. Now let me show you what you can track here. All right, so this is the first lesson. I'm gonna say mark as complete. First lesson done, say the user completes the first lesson. Go to the next lesson. This is lesson number two. I'm gonna go ahead and complete second lesson as well. All right, so now second lesson is complete, right? Let's go ahead and check the activity and see what's going on there. All right, you can see here this received, this user has received a tag because what I'm doing here is when they complete the first lesson, I'm giving them a lesson completion tag. So you can track it like that. And this user got the tag. You can see here, this is the back end of this course. This is DAP's course builder, and this is the course. And you can see in the lesson builder, what I've done here, this is actually lesson one, right? This one is just introduction. Lesson one is this one, day one, lesson one. And here I have a sign tag. Let me show you this. When they complete lesson number one, they get this tag called quiz funnel done right, right? When they complete the first lesson, quiz funnel done right, they get a tag called quiz funnel done right. I'm not really using that tag. This is just for demo purposes, but these are the things you can do. If you wanna give them a tag when they complete a lesson 
And then what you want to do, for example, is that if they get that tag, maybe you want to give them access to a bonus lesson or you want to trigger an automation. You can do that based on tag. So first thing is to give them tag and then you can set up tag based automation. You'll find under products, you will find uh, manage automations. If you go there, you can see tag based automation. Click on it. And here you can set up tag based automation. Here you will find a list of all the tags. Select the tag and let DAP know what should happen when someone gets that tag. So if they complete the lesson and they get that tag, what do you want to do next? There are so many different things you can do. You can, you can add them to a specific list in your email platform. You can also give them access to another product in DAP, right? DAP is another destination. In the tag based automation, you can select DAP and you can say, I want to give them access to another product because they completed this lesson. So as a reward for completing the lesson, I want to give them access to another product automatically. So you can set up automation like this uh, in DAP. Now let's go to the course details. So you can see here, this is the user, this is the course, right? So if you click on view details, you will find everything here. And here I didn't really spend much time because I was just testing. You can see it just says a few seconds because I just clicked on the button to complete it just to show you, you know, how this works. But you can see here, this user started this lesson, completed this lesson. This user started day one, completed day one. And so two lessons done and remaining, all of these are pending. There's no quiz in this course, so there's nothing here. But you will be able to find everything. And if they complete everything and they earn a certificate, you're going to find that here as well. So here I'm giving them a tag. When they complete, when they complete day one, they get a tag. I have set that up in the back end of DAP. So they got this tag. So in the user activity report, you can see they got this tag, right? Also, if you go to the points and rewards, you can see, you know, just the points stuff you can find here. So you can see here they got five points for completing purchase of the course. They got two points for completing purchase of this uh, digital product. And they got one point for registration for the freebie. They got a point for visiting a specific page. That's my setting in Game of Points plugin. So they can, so you can find that here. Purchase history. They have purchased two things so far and you will find both of these things right here. And as they continue to purchase more stuff from you, you'll find all the details here. Profile details. This is the user details. If you want to edit something, click on edit user and it will take you back to the members page where you can edit uh, their member information. So this is how this works. So let's go ahead and purchase membership now. So let's say that at this point, the user is ready to sign up for your membership. So they are signing up. They can go ahead and sign up here. Now let's say go back to user activity. All right. You can see here. This user just signed up for this membership and I'm giving points for signing up for membership. So you'll be able to track everything. So now let's see what has happened here. They got a tag for opting in. They got points for registration. They got points for page visit. They made a payment for the next product. You can find that here. They made a purchase. So they got points for purchase. They made another payment for the online course as here. They made another purchase. Uh, they got points for purchase. And they got a tag because they completed a lesson in your course and they um, made another payment for the membership and they got points for membership. So everything you will be able to track here. If you go to the course details, you can find more details in terms of how they are doing with your course, how much time they have spent on each lesson, where they are stopping, right? It will give you an idea in terms of what your users are doing, what lessons they are completing and what most people are completing. We'll also add a chart soon where you will be able to track it and see, you know, how members are engaging with each one of your courses and where, you know, where uh, the engagement starts to drop off. You'll be able to find all the details soon. You'll add that too. And you can find this, you know, last 30 days, last 60 days, you can set the date as well, right? So you can see specific dates and you will find all the other details. If you have attached a quiz to your lessons, you will find the quiz details and their score and everything all in one place. So if you want to See exactly what your users are doing in your membership site, where they are spending time, how they are spending their time. All of it you can track now in the back. And uh, now let me show you my uh, settings in the Game of Coins plugin on how they get points. So this is the back end of the Game of Coins plugin. I'm using it to create a points-based membership site where they get points for different activities. You don't have to do it, but that's what I have done here just to show you the different possibilities you have with DAP, where you can easily convert your membership site into a fun, engaging um, points-based membership site. All right, so action points. They get points for different actions. And what they do with the points, that's up to you. You can create a store using the Game of Points plugin where they can redeem the points they have gotten. So when users register to a free product, you can say when users register to my product, they get this many points. So what I have done here, you can see 
I'm giving them points, one point for signing up for this planner, my freebie. When they log in, they also get points. You can see they get one point for login. I have already done that here. And you can also say, you know, I don't want to keep giving them points every time they log in. So you can set a limit. You can say they only get login points once every 100 days, 30 days, right? So if they log in every day, you don't want to keep giving them points for that because they can trick the system, right? So you can say they will only get points for login once every, you know, 60 days or once every 90 days. All right, when users visit a specific page, you can give them points for visiting any page you want, right? So here they get a point for visiting this page and uh, you can select whatever pages you want here from the dropdown. It will let you select the pages in WordPress and if they visit that page, you can give them points for that, purchase points. You can see they are getting points for my digital product right? This one, one-off product, membership, and also the online course. They're getting two points for this. They are getting five points for the course purchase. They're getting 10 points for membership purchase. You can give them points for recurring payments, right? Every time there is a payment coming in, recurring payment coming in, you can give them points as an incentive for making the payments. And you can do different things with the points. And so there are different ways you can give them points. You can give them points for completing your entire course. You can give them points for completing lessons in your course, you can give them points for completing quizzes and stuff like that, all right? So there are different ways you can give them points. You can even give them points for leaving you a testimonial. It integrates with Thrive Ovation plugin. And if you use that, then you can give them points like I do here. You can see Thrive Dashboard, Thrive Ovation. So I have integrated uh, the form that I have with Thrive Ovation. So when they leave me a testimonial, they automatically get points for that as well. And you will find all of that here, all right? As you can see, DAP is a comprehensive membership plugin. You can do it all using DAP. You can use DAP for all of your products, courses, challenges, services, uh, and freebies, right? You can do it all using DAP. And that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, you found this helpful. My name is Veena Prashant. If you have any questions, do let us know. If you want to check out DAP, go to our site, and you will find all the options there, different licenses and different options there. You can decide what you want to sign up for. Check it out. If you have any questions, reach out to us. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to do so. This way, you will be the first to know when I publish new videos like this. And also sign up for my newsletter. This way, you will uh, get the latest information on all the things we are doing uh, to help you build and grow and scale your online business. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with more. Bye for now.